How long did I have idea of Algobox built in your mind? Man, it's like it was a progressive piece. It's, it's the thing about software people don't oftentimes understand. They think, you know, you think of a full product from end to end. You try to go out there and you solve one problem at a time. One problem at a time, one problem at a time. Like I'll give an example. One of my main problems back in the day was um, for particularly like where SMLK timing lines came from. Oftentimes I would be right about price, but I would be off on time. I'd be like, man, I could have taken less heat if I just waited a little bit longer. Um, if I needed something on my chart that would force me, not really force, because you really can't force, but I needed a visual cue to kind of give me the eh, A-okay, go in. Uh, another one would be, I used to jump in on one-legged pullbacks all the time. Like, oh, I get a big leg down or in direction and I'd like jump it trying to like pop in on it. And so I came up with the no, no flamingos rule. Like flamingos are the only birds that can stand on one leg. Everything else needs two legs, two or four, right? Bipeds, quad peds. So, well, what is that? That's a Elliott wave, two legs. So, hey, dot. The Fabella dot came out of out of that, but I didn't want just two legs. I wanted some other stuff too. So it's like, okay, two legs plus multi-fib. Then it went from that to more. It's like, okay, well, I want that. Plus overbought, oversold on a lower time frame. Dot, NASDAQ. Plus, so, you know, it's, it's a continuous plus one type scenario.